With the increasing popularity of creative 1v1s in Chapter 2 of Fortnite, you know it's important to know the best tips and most effective building strategies to hold high ground. You know, high ground is an absolutely important aspect of Fortnite, all right? And it can be super difficult to win a fight without it. That's why we made this video, to show you guys some of the best high ground retakes out there for you to do. So, you know, the thing is that, you know, a majority of the high ground retake videos you're going to see right now are really like super flashy and really just not so effective retakes. Not only do these take very long to learn, but it can also do more harm than good because of how complex they are and how easy they are to counter. So the retakes we're going to be focusing on on this video is going to be the ones that are super easy to learn and the most effective against even the best of opponents. What's going on guys, it's the Motivation Guy. That's right, the one and only Keith Allen. I wanna let you know right now that you are valuable. Do you know that there's no one on this planet like you? You are unique, you are significant, you have giftings, you have talents, and you have abilities, man. So be grateful for that. Know that the sky is not the limit. I don't care how you're feeling down today. I want you to be encouraged that nothing can get in your way. You are going to move mountains this year, not only in this game, but also in life. Connect with me right now on my Instagram. I'm posting up vids to inspire you guys to do the impossible. We're going to announce the winner of our 5,000 V-Bucks giveaway, and it's none other than Elite Exodus. Yeah. So, hey, man, congratulations, Elite. DM us on Twitter at ProGuides.com to receive your prize, okay? And to all those who didn't win, hey, don't worry about it. We're going to be doing these every two weeks, so please stay tuned, all right? You can always win in the future. If you guys are looking to get better at Fortnite, which we all are, click the link below and go to ProGuides.com where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuides and you're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel. So if you want to compete in Fortnite, you have to check out ProGuides.com and be sure to drop a like on this video to show your support because we really appreciate that. We've compiled these retakes from watching multiple pros and expert level wagers, so you can be assured today that this video has exactly what you need. So without further ado, it's time to sit back, relax, and I hope you went to the store to get my favorite candy, which is that bunch of crunch, and let's do this. So for the first high ground retakes, we're going to be taking a look at Razor X and a move that we believe is excellent for creative 1v1s. This move right here, right here, tends to mess with your opponents a lot and cause great confusion, which will help you finish off kills. So, this move is best to do when you're double ramping, so you're going to initiate the first steps by placing a ramp below and above you as you walk upwards on the ramp. For step two, you're going to want to throw up a Thawaifo cone. Okay, so a Thawaifo cone is a series of wall floors and a cone which essentially provides cover and can act as great immobilizers since they take up a lot of room in the areas of your building. To start the Thawaifo cone, you want to quickly turn around and place two walls, on to either side and one directly behind you. Now, okay, so put a floor and a pyramid directly on top of these walls. Finally, turn back around and turn and continue going up the ramp. Now for this specific high ground retakes, we're going to modify the ending a slight bit, okay? This time, we're going to attach another pyramid to the one we just placed. We want this pyramid to be directly in front of the direction that our ramps are headed towards, okay? Now, this is what you want to do, guys. Now you want to run up towards the ramp while editing the pyramid and the shape of a ramp. Some of you may be asking, why do we use a cone instead of just placing a ramp in the first place? It's a good question. This is because placing a ramp can make it easier for your opponent to cone you or get an angle. Plus, the way you edit the pyramid adds a lot of, you know, unpredictability to your building, making you more confusing for your opponent. Now, once you've made this first edit, go ahead and run to the top of your ramp and jump off the edge. While you're midair, you want to turn around and place a ramp and a pyramid towards the opposite direction you're headed. And then turn 90 degrees to the side and place a floor and a ramp. Now crank that soldier boy. Now crank one basic 90 and you should be at the exact level of where you just placed the last pyramid. This will put you in the perfect spot, man, if your opponent was trailing behind you, giving you an easy shot after pulling off a clean high ground retake. The next trick was created by Beyond, one of the pro script writers here at Pro Guys, man. Beyond created this after watching wagers and professional 1v1s and paying close attention to how these players play. Okay, so the thing is this, all right? People who play to win have much different strategies than what you normally see in videos. These players have their own tricks and tactics that most don't even think of. One of the major ones for professional wager players like MSF Clicks, Booga, and more is the importance of high ground and using 90s to keep it. So 90s to this day are the most effective way of gaining high ground. 
There is no faster method of climbing height than cranking 90, so it makes sense that players that are advanced put a lot of attention on it. What Beyond did is he created a new way to crank out triple 90s without losing momentum that you normally would from jump fatigue. What he calls this move is the double triple 90. Okay, so how it works is basically cranking out 390s and then using a rotational movement method that keeps your character moving while also not being affected by jump fatigue, allowing you to crank 90s as fast as possible. So let's get right into it of how this is done. First, you're gonna wanna go ahead and perform 90s like you normally would. So just make sure guys that you're doing 390s instead of the normal two. These 90s can be any style that you prefer, as long as it is fast and efficient. We recommend using Metro style 90s, as these will force you to get used to just cutting off unnecessary distance, and you won't be hitting the wall on the side, overall making you do your 90s faster. So doing fully protected 90s are better as they give you more protection. But for the purpose of practicing and perfecting this technique, it's good to start off with no sidewalls. Now once you've reached the peak of your third 90, this is where you're really gonna start feeling the jump fatigue. So the magic in this move comes in the next step. What you're going to do is extend one ramp out from your third 90 and then jump and build two walls and two floors. You want one floor below you and one on top of you. Also place two walls, one directly in front of the direction your ramp is facing and one either to the left or right side, depending on which way you're gonna be extending out. Now, once you've placed these, turn out into the side that does not have a wall and place a floor in a the ramp. Then continue to crank out another set of triple 90s. So if done correctly, you should be losing little to no momentum on the speed at which you're running and jumping. Make sure that you're really focusing on perfecting that circular motion during this period in between the two sets of triple 90s. To do this move at maximum efficiency, let's say that you're going to be extending to the right, all right? You wanna start by placing the right wall and then the left wall, then place the top floor and look down while placing the bottom floor and the connecting floor which extends out. Finally, place the ramp on top. So if done correctly, this should feel like a nice circular swivel. The next trick is a fairly new high ground retake created by Booty Clap KC. Yeah, I just said booty. This retake features the classic double 90 pyramid start, but with a great twist. So what KC does is that he uses some in-game mechanics to manipulate placement of pyramids in a way that forces your pyramid to go to the other side of the ramp, coning your opponent. During build fights where people use the old versions of KC's trick, they usually do a good job from stopping their opponent from ramping over them and taking high ground. But the problem with the old version is, is that, you know, it doesn't stop the opponent from 90ing or simply just turning and continuing to build. KC's new trick allows for you to actually cone your opponent at any time where you're meeting up. So to start, you're gonna to wanna to crank out two 90s. This is different than the last trick we showed because you're only doing two. Now, as you turn to finish your second 90, place a ramp that extends out and then place a pyramid on its peak. This pyramid should be positioned so that it would stop you if you were to keep running up your ramp. Now edit the pyramid on one side that is touching your ramp. If this is done correctly, let me, Keith Allen, your friend, tell you what's about to happen, all right? This should crumble the pyramid as it should no longer be connecting. As the pyramid is crumbling, you wanna hold your pyramid placement button. What this is gonna do is it's gonna force the pyramid to jump to the other side, which is the side where your opponent would normally be running up. Guys, this is a great trick and it's very effective in some scenarios, okay? So you gotta do it. The most useful it can be is when you and an opponent are both building towards each other and it looks like you can have a good chance of meeting up at the same point. So be sure to practice this in you know different situations and fights to get the hang of it. You can never really go wrong with the classics, man. Especially when the classics are still just as effective today. For this next trick, we're gonna be looking at an older high ground retake trick made by Parallel Connor. This trick features a cool spinoff on the classic 90s that provides excellent coverage and can make for an awesome way to confuse your opponent. Okay, so how this works is by rotating a ramp while you're double ramping, then 90 out of it. That's the simple explanation, it's a little bit more difficult than that. So to start, you're gonna wanna double ramp up and make sure that your top ramp is ahead of your bottom ramp before you perform this move, okay? Now go ahead guys and go into edit mode on the top ramp and drag it over to the right side. Run up into the ramp and confirm the edit as you jump up. While you click confirm, you quickly wanna go into build mode and place a wall to catch your ramp. If you don't place the wall, your ramp will crumble and it's gonna fall down. So what's great about this move is that due to the speed at which you have to place the wall and the protection from the ramp, you're essentially never leaving yourself open to be shot. Once you've successfully caught yourself, go ahead guys and crank a 90 or two and just like that, you've learned another simple yet effective high ground retake. Congratulations. Make sure to practice the ramp edit and the placement of that wall as those will probably need to be drilled a couple times for most people. 
For the final ground retake in this video, we're gonna bring it back to Razor X, his well-known side jump technique, okay? Although simple, it is quite effective and can be very hard for opponents to keep track of when used correctly. So, what Razor X's side jump has done is it has given an extra layer of height every time you attempt to do a side jump. Besides just giving you extra height, he also combined it with some other snazzy combos. Oh, I like that word, snazzy. Just kind of came out. It felt good about it, snazzy. That's the new word. So if your outfit looks good, man, you got a snazzy outfit. Got some snazzy Jordans. Anyways, you know, I'm still feeling snazzy, but let's get right into it. First, what you're going to want to do is place a ramp and then place a floor and a pyramid on the peak of that ramp, okay? As you run up to the ramp, start running at an angle so that you're going to be able to jump off the edge once you're close to hitting the bottom of your floor. The trick behind getting this perfect is practice. There's just no other way around it. You got to practice for sure. So make sure that you're attempting this multiple times until you get a good feel of it, of how to do it better and better and better. If you don't time the jump right, it could be a little difficult and you're not going to be able to do it consistently. So, now once you've jumped, quickly look down and place a floor and a ramp. If this is done right, you should have landed on top of the ramp rather than in between the ramp and the floor. Now quickly look up and place another pyramid on the ramp that you landed on. Once again, perform another side jump, but this time towards the opposite direction. Once you performed this side jump and caught yourself on your second ramp, you completed the move. Congratulations. Now, all right, so keep in mind that this move is simple, but it does take practice and some time to perfect. Don't get hard on yourself. Don't put yourself down. Don't be disappointed. When you fall, get back up. You got to keep practicing and don't be discouraged, all right? It takes time, but I promise you, you're going to get it. You will get it, all right? So be sure to spend time in the creative lobby, man, and cranking outside jumps until you can just do them consistently and do them cleanly. Once again, guys, this is The Motivation Guy. Hope this video made your day today. Want to inspire you guys. So connect with me on my Instagram. We're putting up vids so that you can do the impossible. All right, guys. So that's it for today. We really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to use code PROGUIDES when you make any sort of purchases. It really just helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought about this video and what you'd like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video, all right? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.